February is half over. Have you checked in on your heart health? It is American Heart Month when doctors bring awareness to cardiovascular disease and women are especially affected. Heart disease is the leading cause of death across all ages. Dr. Michaela Stanku is a cardiologist at, at Sinai Chicago. She's going to help us get up to speed on our heart health. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, heart disease is the leading cause of death in women. What puts women at risk? Um, it's a very good question and it's a very heavy question. Um, I think it's uh, just uh, women look much less to access to health care and usually they will ignore their symptoms in a, for a longer duration of time. So we end up seeing them when they have more advanced stages of the disease. Now does heart disease affect all ages and ethnicities equally? No, unfortunately that is not true. We are seeing uh, increased prevalence incidence and in younger uh, black communities, mm -hmm. um, which is something that uh, we should be all aware of, yes. So uh, w walk us through some of the risk factors that would be considered within our control. Um, obesity, overweight, uh, would be one of the most important risk factors, physical inactivity, um, smoking and alcohol is the modified risk factor. Mm -hmm. um, and of course there are certain predisposition condition like hypertension, diabetes and high cholesterol that we can all work on it. We can all work on age. The incidence of cardiovascular disease increases unfortunately. You mean I can't stop the clock <laughs> no matter how hard I try? None of us. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing is that you know we don't we cannot work against the uh, um, genetic factors that are in our background but yeah. Dr. Stanko when they say know your numbers mm -hmm. what are they referring to? I would encourage everybody to have a very honest discussion with their primary care about what the numbers of their cardiovascular status are. And those we are referring to BMI, body max index, mm -hmm. which is an indicator of where you stay on a scale of uh, overweight or obesity. Other are your glycosylated hemoglobin regarding diabetes. What is your blood pressure, which is a very, very simple number. And uh, what is your total cholesterol level, your LDL and your HDL, the good cholesterol um, level. And I think if people can work on those numbers and mm -hmm. start with that basic check, they can advance into doing better for their cardiovascular Things like losing weight, quitting smoking, reducing alcohol intake, all of the all of the risk factors within our power our control that you Correct. talked about before. Correct. Dr. Michaela Stanko, thank you so much for joining us oh, today. Thank you for Appreciate having us. Time. Appreciate it. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.